I'm just I'm assuming that with so many strong players, this is not gonna be um, this is not gonna be an event where uh, where someone goes perfect. Thank you so much to Cole Yanniker for six months. Who's preparing for the world RMB? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Have I seen videos and things? No, I'm not paying any attention to that nonsense at this point. Um, so, another, jeez. What is going on? Every pairing is tough. It's kind of amazing how strong Title 2s has become. Like, I'm expecting I've drawn two games and I get an easy pairing. I don't, I get a bad pairing. Okay, how do I mess this up? I'm gonna keep playing G6, because so now, I mean, I, I really don't, I have a feeling Magnus is not gonna finish below 10. Let's go here. Yeah, just just a, my my feeling is that he's not going to finish below ten. So if I if I perceive that Magus's winning score is ten points, I need to win every game. So I'm going to try to play for more imbalance. I mean, I could draw and maybe try to angle for second place, just win win a couple games at the end. I think he drinks for nine, but I really it doesn't feel right to to be passive here. It's C4. Okay, I can play Bishop G4. I can also play E6 here. What do I want to do? Um, Bishop G4. E6 is the obvious move to go into a class of Ben Oni. But it's a Ben Oni that I don't love. Uh, he's a good player, though. How far, how far can I push the margin? I don't... Tr mm. I don't know. I'm gonna play e6. Yay! Actually, I should just. Actually, no. I'm gonna. I should just. Why don't I just go e5? Force him to take or not? What am I doing? I'm gonna go g4. So I think I should play f5 right away. I might get crushed in this game, but I'm gonna play very much on the edge because I, I feel like I. I don't know if Matt. I don't really expect the winning score to be below 10. Because I expect Magnus to be bulldozing a few more people. So I feel like I got to kind of play like this. Okay, so Dayak has decided he's going to play a very... Um, he's going to play a very deep positional game. He's going to try to win on the board and use all his time rather than try to play practical moves in three to five seconds. So for that reason, I think I need to... I, I'm going to need to use my time. Because against a player as good as Dayak, he is capable of playing games with like two, three seconds on the clock and finding best moves. So I'm going to have to use my time here. I'm going to have to actually match him move for move and use a little bit of time. Unless they're obvious moves. Like he's using so much time here. See, he's using a lot of time. So I'm going to start thinking on his time as well. Goes G4. This is the move that I was actually worried he might play, but and honestly, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm obviously gonna take. We'll play here. This is definitely dubious what I'm doing. Definitely dubious, but. Like I said, my, my whole logic behind this is that I think the winning score is not going to be less than 10. I'll premium this in case it takes. And I expected that. Of course, I should play knight f6 here. Obvious move. I'll take and take, maybe. I might still be moving a little bit too fast, but I think I need to try and press him on the clock a little bit here. Okay, so he does that. I mean, I kind of expect that. I mean, I don't have a move. I have to trade. This much is very clear. I could go knight c6 here. For some reason, I feel like the knight belongs on e5, not here, just because I can pressure the bishop immediately. Both squares are playable. Which one's better? I honestly don't. Knight d7 guards a pawn? I'm gonna put the knight here. I, I don't. I don't really have a good reason other than I feel like it belongs on c6 and not d7. I, I can't really explain why, but it just feels somehow. I just have a feeling it belongs here, especially if I'm giving up a pawn. And I'm gonna go like d6 to guard the chain and play like rook d8. Okay, I mean rook d8 is an obvious move. King f7 or rook d8. Which one? 
I think rook d8 makes sense with king f7 next move. Castles is also maybe an option, but whatever. Yeah, this is very tricky to play for both sides. I mean, I have knight d4 somewhere. I want to play knight e7. Rook g8 is a move. Rook d7. I think I'll just go here. Very, very tough position to play for both of us. I'm way up on clock though, so. It was F3, I expected that. I mean, I, I can play rookie eight maybe. No, I can't play rookie eight, it's no good. E3 is maybe a move also. <sighs> Knight d4 does nothing. e3 doesn't look right. Knight e7? No, that's wrong. Rook d8. I think I'll just play this. I think I have to trade. I can play rook e8 here. I can also trade. Here and take, I guess. Oh, I could have played knight d6. No, that doesn't work either. Probably this is also probably a draw. <laughs> this is gonna be a draw. Or do I make this set? A four, you have three takes. I I gotta go for it, right? I gotta I gotta go for it. I mean. I've got to go for it. I mean, if I don't go for it, what am I doing, really? Wait, but now I can go maybe here? Wait, he might have misplayed this way. Now these knights are very active, actually. Take. Is this actually a draw? Wait. A draw. <sighs> yeah, I can't win this. Should not. I thought the end game was winning. I should not have done that. But it's zeros. It's zeros anyway. <sighs> it's zeros. Oh my gosh! Like I, I, I might give up. I might give up. Every game is zero, zeros. Like, I didn't want to play this, but even if I don't play Jeez. Magnus is losing to Ali Reza. Okay, let's, let's... Oh, wait, sorry. I didn't mean to close the game. <laughs> Thank you, German. Thank you, Scalia, for the four. Let's watch it. Thank you so much to Anton for the prime. Wait, what's going on? Let me refresh the board. Wait, why is it not updating? Block. Okay, Magnus draws his game. Yeah, I mean, everyone's everyone's messing up. He was losing what here? Okay, Rook A five. I mean, Rook A five is like not realistic. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit much. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just the field is too strong. The field is too strong. Like the winning score is. I mean, unless Magnus wins, it's probably going to be nine and a half today. Yeah, it's just such a strong field. I can't really be upset. Like, I can maybe be unhappy with the Serana game, but the... I mean, no, I can be unhappy with the Jeffrey game. But the other two draws I can't be unhappy with. Yeah, I can't be unhappy with the other two. But now I should get an easier pairing around eight at least. So now it's time to, like, time to win. Yeah, the Jeffrey game I can be unhappy because I missed King to some. Serana game didn't really miss anything. Dayak, I mean, I kind of gambled. I was probably a little bit worse. And... I mean, it was a little bit worse. I didn't. I don't think I ever had a chance to win. 
Yeah. Copium surely an easy pairing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, when you play 2,700 players every game, it's, it's not easy. Title Tuesday is just for fun, yeah. No, it, normally it is, but it's become such a competitive event now. Hikaru doesn't understand yet that there's no easy pairing, exactly, yeah. True. Okay. Let's see who's still playing. Um, no games. Round 8 coming up. I, I, I better get an easy pairing now. Yeah. More competitive than the world... Of course, I get Benjamin. Let's go Knight F3. Of course. Uh, I think I have to win out now. Yeah. I gotta win out. Yeah. No, this is not the same thing. I'm actually playing pretty well tonight, unlike most title Tuesdays. No, I feel like I'm playing pretty well, actually. Um, okay, he's gonna. Every, everybody's suddenly playing the same G6 setup. So it's Castle. Go C3. Um, A4 is what I played earlier, I think. I think I'll do it again. I think I'd 2 maybe. He's gonna play like rookie 1 and E4, probably. Knight H4 is a move here, but I think rookie 1 is also completely fine. Let's go here to hit the bishop. So actually, am I missing something? I thought this was just a small advantage for white. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's not. Let's see. Who is knight b6, which to me looks a little bit dubious. It doesn't look bigly dubious, but it looks... Somehow it just doesn't look quite right. Maybe just bishop c... Mm. Yeah, I think I'll go back, guard the pawn. Now I have like knight f3, knight g2, multiple ways to activate the knight. Just a question of where do I put the knight. Knight f3, bishop g4 looks wrong. Knight g2 looks pretty respectable to me, just to play like knight f4, maybe bishop g5, maybe. It goes there. Actually, no, this is not quite. Nah, I've misplayed this. Maybe I can go f4. I don't like it. Knight e3 is a move as well. Um, let's see. Bishop b3 is also a move. But I don't like it. Knight f4 is what looks like the correct move. Queen b3, knight d5, queen b7. I think this is the correct move. I also have queen b3 some. Oh, I did not expect that way. So here, I guess. So here, knight c5, maybe. I think takes here, there's something with knight d5 now. Let's see what he does. Don't really like the way I'm playing this game. Let's see what he does here. He's deep in the tank. Is interesting. So he just wants to go e5 and play an end game. Okay, well, if that's what Benjamin wants, I mean, I'll, I'll play an end game with the two Bs. Ah, he does. He goes rook d. Ah, so now he wants to c5 or something? I know, somehow I don't actually believe Benjamin. I think he's kind of a little bit full of Belog now at the moment. I could be wrong, but I feel like he's kind of. I think there's a little, bit, a little bit of Belognik. So he goes knight d5. So now I can play f4. I can also go bishop b3. I don't really like f4, but I think I should play it anyway. Because now, I mean, eventually what I'm hoping is somehow to activate the bishops. Like, maybe like bishop e4, bishop g2 or something. Go here, rook d1, bishop g2. Wow, we got b5. That's not a move that I expected from Benjamin. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Um, let's go here. Yeah, b5 is a very surprising move to me. Now, I can obviously trade. I think I will trade. I can maybe go f5 here. I can also just trade into an endgame Magnus style, but it doesn't look right. Uh, he just wants to go a4. That's his only idea. So I go g4. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to play g4 and f5 here. I'm going to try to attack. 
see what happens here. Okay, rook c8 logical. I can obviously trade. I also have f6 here. I'm also talking a little bit too much, I think, as well. I also have h. Uh, h4, he wants b4. That makes sense. The rook e2, maybe? Bishop d5, e5. I don't really like that. Okay, I gotta pick up the speed. You gotta move. Um, I think I'm just gonna go here. Quiet move. I always have f6 tricks, I thought. Maybe not. Oh, whatever. Let's just go h4. Or is that just a mistake? It's just a mistake. What am I doing? Now, now I'm just messing this all up. Now what am I doing? I just messed this up completely. I have f6. Oh, and I just blundered again. What the heck? Yeah, suddenly I'm just collapsing. What the heck? Yeah, now I'm just collapsing and falling apart for no reason. So bad. Takes, okay. Of course I have rook d1 to hit the bishop. I gotta keep moving. You gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. I should've just taken and taken. Why didn't I just do that? And I guess I have to go for this. If I don't do this at some point, what am I playing for? Seven. I'm just gonna go here. That's just a blunder too. What am I doing? Do I have this? Oh, do I just trick him? I think I just tricked Benjamin. <laughs> Ridiculous trick. Ridiculous trick. <laughs> Ridiculous trick. I mean, I, I can just draw this. Did I just blunder? No, I, I didn't. Luckily, I've got this. Yeah, it's a draw. Oh. Was Rook C4 actually a brilliant move, by the way? No, it wasn't. Oh, Rook C wait, Rook C5? Wait. Wait. Wait, why is Rook C4 not working? Wait.
If I go here, there's check, and it's a queen. If I go here, he takes takes. So rook c5, but this one's... This is still a draw, because you... Wow, okay. That's... So rook c4 is actually the wrong one. I need to go rook c5. That's funny. There is a delay. Yeah, there's a delay for the event. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. I think there was a retro colleague for the gifted sub. No, I mean, I was okay, I thought. I was never better, though. I was never better, though, was I? Oh, I was better here with F6. Maybe. Yeah, it gets messy. Yeah. It gets messy. Bach was so angry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that means we're on the break. Magnus won. He plays Jeffrey. Just try to win out, I guess. Just try to win out. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, I'm going to take a short break, and we'll be right back, you guys. Give me one second. Magnus at 98% interesting. Okay, who cares? Um, so lucky box. I mean, I'd be mad if I were him too. He's mad that he missed Bishop B. Yeah, Bishop B2 is the winning line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it happens. Yeah. It's going to take a while to find the last time I drew four straight title Tuesday games. That's actually true. It's been a while. Yeah. Son, I move out to the country. Game was a draw. I didn't win. It was a draw. Oh, I didn't realize that Levon, Levon was playing too. He's got six and a half. Like, it's just such a strong field today. Very, very thin field. Like, you see, like, only two guys on seven even. Oh, of course Benjamin was winning. He, he was completely winning. If I get to nine out of 11, I think that's going to be third for sure. Just based on the strength of the field, I think, I think nine points is still third place. So, we keep going. As always. We're on the short break. Short break. Daniel said we like to play some bullet after. Am I down? This is even my regular setup. No, definitely not. I think even the DPI is a little bit off. What happened to my streaming setup? I still have it. My computer just didn't turn on this morning. So what to do? The bartender. Thank you so much to 666 Nikolai 666 for the prime. Who is swearing at chat? Benjamin? Is Benjamin swearing? He might be. He might be, yeah. I, I would be. I, I mean, actually, like, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame him, honestly. I, I would be. I'd be very upset about this game, too. I'd be very upset. <laughs> this cam is so much better. I think it's mostly the lighting, you guys. The lighting is just better in this room. But, all right. Thank you so much, GZKK for the prime. Thanks for GZ, GZKK. Gary Kasparov's on six and a half? Yeah. No, but the fact that you see all these people who are on six and a half, like, who are really, really strong players, like Aronian, um, Oparin, Andraken, I mean, it's just a very, very strong field. Yeah, my wall color is pink. Yes, exactly. Thank you. So, all right, game should start pretty soon. Stronger field in the world, Rabbin Blitz. Ironically, yes, this is a stronger field. And I was going to say on that note, I do think that the world Rapid and Blitz, uh, they extended the registration. And like when I looked at the field of players who was playing, it looked significantly weaker than, um, than I expected it to be. So, so yeah, I do think that... Um, I, I do think that uh, they extend the registration because they're hoping that more top players will play. Did I turn my computer off and on? Of course I did. I unplugged. I, I actually took a look, at, took a look, took the RAM sticks in and out. I, I took a look, tried to move the, uh, the 4090 to another another slot. Um, like I, I went and looked at some stuff, but I couldn't do everything because obviously there's only so much that I can do with my limited knowledge. Because like I, I don't put computers together generally. Uh, it's been a long time since I even really looked at one. Um, so it's like, yeah, I mean, I could look at, I could look at like the power supply and other things, but that would require, that would require a level of, uh, of knowledge and expertise that I don't possess right now. I don't, I don't possess that ability.
Could be the motherboard thing with Johnny Two Hundred Twenty One. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, but you are a data scientist. That is completely different than putting computers together. Yeah, thank you for Peshka for the two months. Thanks for Peshka. Appreciate it. Yeah. I think there was a Sembrex for the Prime. I think it was a Sembrex. Some coffee on the CPU will revive your comp. I've actually had a couple of experiences with spilling liquids on computers, and it's never been good. Uh, it's never been good. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of experiences. It's never been good. Never been good. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> it's never been good. Am I on vacation? No, I'm at home. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when I was, I forget how old I was. I think I was maybe like, this was very bad. This was one, actually this wasn't me, this was my brother. I think when I was like 13 and we had our family computer and um, I think he accidentally spilled some water on the keyboard and it was a big problem. I mean, obviously now it's all, you can just unplug a new, new keyboard, but it was a huge problem um, at the time. Uh, I think it was a, I think it was a compact computer if I remember correctly. I had a laptop as well that I spilled, spilled a whole cup of water on. And that computer was just like done. I couldn't do anything about it. Finally, an easy pairing. I need to XC SME for the 15 months. Okay, finally we got the easy pairing. Now it's time to feast, as they say. Um, let's go here. Let's keep going with our, our classic nonsense. What do I want to play against this? Because there are a couple options. I mean, B5 is the Tiger one. It's not good. D6 is... I mean, none of these lines are very good. So I'm going to play D6 and Bishop G4. Because at least this one, I keep pieces on the board and I just play chess. It would be better if the pawn was on C6, not A6. But nothing I can do about that the opening choice. I think I want to play knight c6 here. I'm actually already questioning my opening choice a little bit. Let's go here and be on, not be on shoot, sorry. Uh, put the knight here. Play it like a hippopotamus opening a little bit. Let's go here. Definitely want to put pressure on my opponent's clock here. Um, I'll play d5. Can obviously take if he wants. Goes e5. Now the question is, do I trade or not? And I have knight f5 first, but you know what? Does it even it doesn't really matter. So let's go knight f5. Hit the bishop. Okay, I guess I trade. Play like h5 here, of course. Stop g4. Fairly strange position that I have here. The knight's on c6. Normally it would be on d7. It's a little bit of a drawback, I would say, but um, I'm gonna go knight a5. Oh, did I just blunder? No, I, for a second I thought I blundered knight takes d5. So let's go b6 here. So go here, idea to play c5. <clears throat> I think I can take and go c5. If takes, I just take, should be fine. Queen guards the knight, of course. He actually, I didn't think he could do this. Wait, I thought this was, I thought this was too much. Am I crazy? D6, knight C4, queen E2. Huh. I mean, this is gonna be very messy. I can also just take, no, take, nah, whatever, just go for it. So I take, I mean, this doesn't look right. Um, it'd be very messy. So let's take, why not? Yeah, this, I don't know what's going on. This is gonna be a very sharp game, but considering my current predicament with my actual, my actual standing in the tournament, the fact that I know that I'm not gonna, this is not gonna be a draw is a big plus. Like I'm gonna win or I'm gonna lose because there's a big imbalance. I'm up with quite a few pawns already here. D6, 
I'll castle, of course. Still can't take, so I take the rook. I mean, I guess he could, but... Like, I have c4, I mean, I have b2 also. Maybe just b2 makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go b2 and, like, b5, knight c4, and just attack. I just wanna play, like, knight c4. Let's go b5, of course. Knight c4, of course. It's a big question. I mean, I don't know if I should take, but it feels right. Let's go c4. I mean, I think I need to start pushing p fast on the uh, queen side. Go here, hit the pawn. Let's go b4, of course. I think I'm better here. I don't know if I'm winning, but I, I feel like I should be better. I could take... Maybe I can take, but I think it's risky, so... I think I'll just go here and try to trade some queens instead. And just, again, I'm just going to start pushing P up the board if I can. Bishop A4 is a strange move. That's not what I expected. Um, although, we'll go here and try to trade queens again. Oh, I missed for... Oh, yeah, yeah, I missed for... Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't see that. What the heck? Wait, I got to be careful here. Okay. If I go F5, I mean, it's, it's a move somewhere. I see what he's trying to do. Um, it's very hard to play, though. I play... Or F5. I think I'm going to go F5 here. I probably should have taken first, but... Oh, he t that I did not expect, so I take. It's going to get very messy now. I don't really know if I should take or not. I think... Time matters. Time, time is going to matter in this game. Can I maybe slide the king? Maybe. Seems a little bit dubious. C2 is no good. Rook F7. Doesn't do much. I don't really want to... I could trade and go G5 maybe? Or G5. Or, ooh. Oh, let's go here. This looks wild, but let's do it anyway. Goes so F5. Whoops. Of course, I take. I'm going to go here and attack the rook maybe. Whoops. Rook H2 threat. No idea what's going on. Wait, F6? Of course I missed this, obviously. Oh, great. Did I just blunder the game? Well, maybe I take, go here. If it takes, takes, I'm still fine. Very messy. I think I'm winning, but I'm not sure. That's just a blunder. Just, just maybe a bishop b3, maybe. But just take. Yeah, now I win. Okay, we get the win. Okay, we got the win. Move to seven out of nine. Very tough game. I don't. I don't even know what was going on. Was that was that was that better or worse? Wow, I'm worse. I should never have allowed Bishop A4. That was a big mistake. Uh, Queen A... Oh, Queen A2 was just winning? Oh, I'm so bad at... I thought he could take. Ah, uh, C2's winning. What the heck? Oh, I'm terrible at chess today. Okay, let's see who's still playing. Okay, uh, Magnus is playing Jeffrey. Apparently, Magnus is winning somehow. Queen d1. Queen e2. Oh my gosh, you can hide the king with king c2. You can hide the king, right? Or, wait, I guess not, no? Queen, not, queen d1. Move, Jeffrey. Probably just rook h5. Takes. Queen H8. I mean, there should be a draw, but what is Jeffrey doing? Rook G2? F6? I mean, Magus is probably going to win this game. Of 
Queen of eight. Queen H6. Check. Queen of eight. Move. No, now D3, Knight E4 wins. Yeah. Crazy game. Jeffrey got too low on time there. Too low on time. I think it's the I am Mac for six chess commits or they do house and AJ Witt. Yeah, Mac just gets a win, but that was really close. Really close. If that had been a draw, I'd still have a chance maybe to win, but Mac just gets the win there, so yeah, it's not meant to be. I don't actually understand why King C3 is winning. I'm a little confused. Oh, it's because queen g4, f3 takes king d3. There's no way to stop the mate, maybe. The knight covers e4, maybe. Yeah. My opinion, this is a smoothie. But, yeah. It's just a tough. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Thank you to Retro Colleague for the good sub. Thank you to Josh the Coot for the tier one. Thank you to Dare Hoos for the prime. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. I mean, if I win two games, I'm going to be top three. Just because of how strong the players are ahead of me. If I win two, I'm definitely making it. There are two more games, but again, now I'm going to get another nasty pairing. Like, there are no easy pairings at this point. That's the problem. First prize is $1,000. Yeah, first place is 1000 I would say that I think this is probably the strongest title Tuesday ever. I, I do think this is the strongest title Tuesday. I mean, if you look at the number of people who are playing, like Magnus, Duda. By the way, I hope Duda, actually, Duda is playing is a good sign. That means Duda is probably okay. Yeah, because Duda withdrew due to health issues. Thank you, Solomon, for the prime. So if Duda is playing, that means he's probably okay, you would think. I was BSing? No, it, it was King C3 after King D3. It was winning, right? Yeah. I could play a Smith Mora. Yeah, let's play a Smith Mora for fun. Okay, it goes D3, so I'll take. Knight F3 is fine. Right, so how do I want to play this one? I mean, I should play knight c3, of course. This much is clear. Maybe queen e2. I'm trying to think about which setup I want here against this, this uh, Sonic, the set, Sonic the Hedgehog setup. I think b3 is always decent. Mainly just trying to figure out which setup I want. That's, that's what matters here. I'm going to go knight d4, which I, I don't think is the right move, but I'm going to play it anyway. Go here. Let's go here. I still have knight f5, okay. Um, I don't really want to play f4. I think I'll go rook ac1. Seems logical. I'll probably play bishop f8, I would expect. Because d5, I'm just going to trade, take, and a6 hangs at the end. Logical. Let's go back. h6, all very logical. Um, I guess I'll go knight c2 to stop d5. Maybe I go knight e3. I mean, it's going to be a very, very slow, long position. The main thing I want to do here is I want to focus on... Um, a4 doesn't look right. Knight b4 is always playable, but I don't like it. Um, I'll just go here and maybe rook d1. Because b5 I can take and go knight d4, knight 6 and I should be better in the long term there. Also, I can take and go knight b4. At least that's my assumption. Let's go here. Main thing is I don't want this to get into some kind of time scramble, because in time scrambles it'll be a lot easier for black to play. Just quietly play Queen G1. It doesn't do anything, but it's a move. Here. Back that. I guess I'll go here. Because now I still have knight d4 to hit the bishop later. It's back logical. Now, all these moves make a lot of sense by both of us. The question is, what do I do? I mean, at some point, I, w I want I want to trick him into playing b5. But the question is, how do I do that? I don't know how, so I'm just going to go queen up 2 and wait. 
Uh, I guess I'll cook. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually just kind of wandering here. Just kind of drifting a little bit. Let's go back. Still have no good ideas. Yeah, of course he's happy to make a draw, so I'll play here. Yeah, I still have no good moves. I guess I'll play rook c2 maybe. Wait, did he just blunder knight d5? Not exactly. Let's just go here, I guess. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just like making moves. I don't actually have a plan. Doing. I guess I'll go here. I don't have any ideas. That's the problem. But now maybe I do get some ideas, like B4, like Knight B3. Okay, it goes Knight E5. I expect that. But now there's Knight A4, maybe. Ah, uh, it's got Knight B7, right? So now. Queen one, I guess. Plays G five. I thought I thought he might do. I'll just go here to pressure. Maybe maybe F four somewhere. Here. I mean, I, I am better here. It's more a question of can I actually convert this. Go here. Look, there's knight a5, knight d4. Like, I'm definitely better here. Or am I? Or did I just blunder? I missed knight c4, of course. I do have knight d4, though. Go here. Still should be much better, because he's, he's made weakness on the king side. He's got a very passive bishop. Should be better. Just take, I guess, the trade. Could have taken with the other knight too, I guess. Actually, I should have. I should have taken with the other knight because he had d5 here, but okay, whatever, just focus. I'm gonna just trade and go here, trade off all the rooks. I'm way up on clock, so I need to use, there's gonna be a critical moment when I need to use the time to my advantage. I don't know why, why didn't I just take with the other knight? There's d5. Now I've got queen c7, though, I think. I go here. Yeah, now, now Jose's misplayed this. Now I'm probably going to win the game. I, I Actually, there's zero risk because he has to trade the queens. He can't not trade. Yeah, this is very bad for Jose. I should win the game. Um... I do have bishop a, is bishop a6, I kind of like this move. Yeah, I think this is a very good move. Just make sure that I get a set of b's off the board. He can't keep the two b's. I mean, he can go bishop d5, but takes and bishop b7. I mean, this should be winning for me. Of course, I missed bishop c3. I've got this and takes, maybe. Is there logical? D3, king up two. Should be winning. D2, king e2. Should be winning. Okay, so what's the threat? The threat is what? Knight f4 or. Oh, he's got knight c1 too. Shoot. No, did I just misplay this? I go a4. I think I have to take. Here, maybe a4, a5, a6. I think I'm still winning though. Oh, 
I sh oh, I see. He's got a trick. Okay, so I guess I have to go... Did he have 93? 93 might have been a draw there, but... There. I think this is winning. Yeah, I think the wide peepos win. I guard the pawns. I should be winning. Yeah, I just go here and I win. Thank you, Retro Colleague, for the four gifted subs. Thank you, Canner PB, for the prime. Very, very tough end game, but I get the win. Magnus wins again, what to say. Um, yeah, dude, I'll lose this. So, what can I say? Very, very, very strong event. I'm not going to play Magnus, which I guess is a good thing, because if Magnus wins, I still have a shot at second. He won on time? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so if I win my game, my tiebreak is so good that I think I could get second. Yeah, if Magnus wins his game against Levon and I win, I think I get I think I get to second place. Yeah, that's just a draw, of course. Yeah, why well, can just sit and wait? King c3, king d2 doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's a draw. Okay, so Nepo draws. So yeah, I mean if I win this last game, I have a shot at getting clear second. Uh, I get dude off. <sighs> Tough pairing. Draws no good, so I've got to play something a little bit off the edge. What do I want to play this off center? I'll play the French. This isn't normally what I'd play, but it's, it's off the... <laughs> if you want... Ah! I'm gonna play this. this. is not what I would normally do. I can't. I can't play the safe line and make a draw. I mean, I can't just play the safe line. So, okay, let's go here. Oh, this castle. This kind of sucks. I thought he was gonna play a sharper line, and then he plays this line, which is just very, very dry. Um. But I don't want to burn my whole clock away. So let's go. I think we can play here. I don't actually know if this is good or not, but it's something to do. Now I check. Wait, am I missing something here? Kind of weird theory that I'm unaware of. This doesn't look right, actually. Like, legitimately, this doesn't look right. I have rookie three and knight takes. I mean, I don't know what the right decision, what the right move is here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trust my instincts. I'm going to go for this and bishop g4. This is not what I. I mean, problem is I'm already down 40 seconds. I can't really afford to end up down much more time on the clock here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm sure this is not right, by the way. But I just at this point, the time time is so so critical. Like if I get down much more time, I'm just going to lose the game no matter what. If I can bring my knight in, I'm probably fine. I assume Mag is playing Levon, so hopefully, like, hopefully he plays, um, hopefully Magnus just beats Levon. That's what I want. Because if that happens and I win, I get second place. Let's see what he does. Okay, dude, I'm using a lot of time here. The dude is deep in the tank. It's good that he's playing, though, because Duda had to withdraw from the Singfield Cup due to health issues, so 
If he's able to play title Tuesday, then surely it's not um, not the end of the world. Now, I do have queen f6 here, which is kind of strange. I, I don't know if it's actually a good line or not. Bishop g5, I can always take. Rookie 1, knight c6. I'm just going to go for it. Why not? Okay, logical. I can obviously trade. We can play one of these weird lines. I can also go b6, maybe. I'm just going to go b6. Probably he's going to go h3, I assume, but could be wrong. I have a feeling I should have played knight d7, knight d6, queen c6. I just have a feeling this move is a little bit wrong somehow. I just have a feeling b6 is not a good move, but check it after the game, obviously. And it's got queen a4, which, yeah, I, I had a feeling this wasn't the right decision somehow. I can go back, queen c2. I mean, knight c6. Knight c6, knight e5, take six, knight e5. Is Nothing. Queen c6, maybe? Oh, wait, no, bishop b5. Oh my god, what am I doing? Wait, maybe just knight d7. Oh, wait. Knight e5, take 6. Queen c6, knight e5, take 6. I think it's okay. Let's just play it. I don't know if this is good or not, but there's at least some imbalance here. Definitely some imbalance, which is exactly what I want. Queen C2. I mean, I can play G6. G6 is really not the move I want to play, but I, I think I should just play it. Oh, I could have played Queen E5. What am I doing? I could have just taken the pawn and gone King... Oh, what am I doing? G6 is a ridiculous move. I could have just taken the pawn. What the heck? That's so ridiculous by me. Okay. Now, yeah, now, now I've misplayed this. I'm still probably kind of okay, but wait, that's not just a mistake. I think he missed F6. Still very unclear. Got h3 somewhere. It's very hard to play, of course. Here. I don't even know if this is a good move, but I'm playing it anyway. So I have bishop f5 to hit the queen and the rook. Who he does. Very low on time, actually. Do I play c6 or do I go bishop f5? Also a big question. Knight d5. I'm just going to go here. Have G5 maybe? For G5. Queen A4, logical move. Ah, uh, he's got Bishop C4. Great, I'm. I've, uh... Focus, focus, focus. Go here. Now I win.
There we go. We got the big dub. Okay, let's watch Magnus' game. Magnus is better. Is he actually winning or not? He's going to win. Yes, Magnus is going to win, so I'm going to get clear. Thank you, General Dome Christopher 14, Reverend Professor Patrick. Yeah, Rook G2, 8. No, Rook G2 must... Oh, no, but then King B1. Uh, A2. King B1. Oh, no, Magnus messed it up. I might not get second. Oh, no. Or, no, Levant, Levant's tiebreak is so bad that it doesn't matter. Ah. Uh, poor Lev. Poor Lev. He gets flagged. This, by the way, is a theoretical draw. This is a theoretical draw. Um, but Magnus is able to flag Lev. Yeah. So, all right. I think that means I'm going to get second place. Yeah, Magnus gets the win. Uh, my tiebreak is pretty good. Um, so, I think I should get second place in 750 bananas. Yeah, Magnus will have a minute and a half for the last uh, minute and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what to say? Ten and a half points. I mean, Mag Magnus crushed it. I wish I could have played him, but too many draws in the middle. Still, I'm pretty happy with my result. Yeah, pretty happy. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I can't complain. I mean, considering how many draws I had and considering how strong my opponents were, I'm pretty happy with the result. Yeah, pretty happy. Gunning for your record? I don't care, you guys. You think I care? Yeah. Uh, $750 in second place. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's what it is, obviously. Didn't have a chance to win. But I'm pretty happy with my play. Considering how many players that I had to play against, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. I mean, considering that I was completely busted against Bach, too. Don't forget how lost I was against Bach. To come all the way back and get what should be second place based on tie breaks. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. So let's see. Waiting for the last few games to end here. Okay, what do we have? We still have two games. Renato is two pawns. Rook F6 maybe? Yeah, Rook F6. Rook G7 might be winning here. Oh, wait. King H6 and Rook F8. Yes, is a winning on game. Rook F8 and GG. Nice recovery. Yeah, I'm very happy with the recovery, considering considering the danger I was in in many games. Yeah, I get second place. Excellent, you guys. Even though I didn't play for first place, to get second place with 9 out of 11, I'm very, very happy. Very happy. So, I get 9 out of 11. Um, finish in second place. Of course, my rating takes a bit of a hit once again, but that's uh, all good. So, we do end up finishing in second place. $750. Pretty happy with it. Can't complain. Um, considering how many tough games there were, but Magnus is the deserved winner with 10 and a half points out of 11. So.